If you find it difficult to create a cinematic introduction or titles for your videos, I will show you how to do it in Filmora and we will use some of the pre-built assets so that you have an idea and a base where to start. Let's dive in. So head on over to Titles and head on to Title Templates. Search for Grunge Metal Production. Not sure why they call it this way. And there are several you can use. This is one sample, which is quite nice. It's another sample over here that you can try as well. So what you do is to bring it onto your timeline and place it there. Double click on this timeline and make changes to the title. For my purpose, I've deleted this because I just want the titles and the name to come out later. But what I did was to keyframe this. So I click on this and set the keyframes for the X and Y as well as the position. And remember to lock it so that the, the image will zoom at the same aspect ratio. And you can also adjust the position if you want. Hit on OK. Now next, I go. I went for another title, and I just went for the epic lightning. Drop this down. So here, what I'm done is combining two title effects to uh, create my intro. All right, double click on the flash and change it. So in my case, I just put there your company. You can put it your company or your logo. You can put, let's say your channel. If you want to change the size to make it smaller, you can do so. When you have done that, scroll down. You can change the position as well as the rotation, which is what I did. So. Originally, there's no rotation, so what I did is to change it somewhere here. Set the rotation so that it is around somewhere like this. Move further down and set this to zero. Right, so we have the visuals uh, basically there. We may need to adjust it a bit. Now, one of the key things that actually pulls off your intro or cinematic intro is the audio itself. So as you see right now, there's no audio and you realize that it is quite bland. Okay, so let's go to audio and go for sound effects. And you can look for either space or etc. So science fiction is one of the sound that I used. And I actually use only the front part of this uh, section. Now it's important to time your sound properly so that the effect hits home. And went back to the sound and what I've done is going to get the last part of this sound. And next I've added a boom sound. Went for audio again and this time I went for a boom. Or an explosion and this is the one that I used. Right? Basically we are using two title effects to create a cinematic intro. Now there are other things that you can do as well. Now one thing about music is that sometimes the first part can be boring. So for example, this part is quite boring when I listen to this uh, song. Uh, in fact, I almost discarded this until I take a closer listen to it. Right, so 
that's where I choose the song. Now this song might be more suitable for a different effect. So let me just place it here first. Uh, another interesting thing that you can use is the superhero title template. I particularly like this one. If your video requires something like this, this superhero title template is something to search for. There are a number of them and this one looks very much like uh, what we see in the Marvel Cinematic Effect. If you take a look at this, alright, so uh, for this pack, something to take note of is that this word superhero and then the pack comes. So you can use this and change the hero. It could be the title of your company or your YouTube video. So to use this as an intro. So let's say this is your channel. In case your channel name is long and you sort of overlap the word pack, right? And you may need to adjust this. And we will hit to advance to change the timing of this. So this is the timing. Um, right, so we will move this. Nice. Right, and of course make sure your music covers the entire track. Now, I mentioned Luma Labs, and let's head on over to lumalabs.ai. And this is how I created this robot by giving a prompt. Now, if you haven't tried Luma Labs, give it a go. It is free to use for up to 26. So 10 generations per day, and these are some of the things that I've created. Now, I wanted to use this, but it didn't turn out so well. Uh, Luma Labs that AI, and you, what you want to do is uh, to combine what Filmora provides and maybe add it to the second part. I hope that you learned something from this video. If you like it, do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed. And check out what's on the screen right now for the next Filmora tip.